Attainment of good health and well-being for all at all ages is third among the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Universal health coverage as a tenant of this goal seeks to ensure that all people have access to health services they need when and where they need them without financial hardship. The government of Kenya made a commitment to achieving universal health coverage by 2022 listing it among the big four agenda, insisting that healthcare for all is a key developmental priority. The distribution of healthcare facilities is an important aspect to achieving this goal. To help with this issue, Mombasa County has embarked on a mission to revamp existing healthcare facilities as well as build new facilities to meet these requirements. However, the distribution of public facilities in the county does not meet the standard needed to ensure proper access to healthcare. If you look at our healthcare facilities distribution, Mombasa County, we have more of private facilities than public facilities, with private taking almost 80% of the chances. But if you look at utility, we still command 60% of patients being treated in this in, uh, in Mombasa County, meaning majority cats not afford to go to private hospitals. Current estimates place the population of Mombasa at close to 1.2 million people spread across six sub-counties. To cater for these people, the county had the Coast Provincial General Hospital, which is a level 5 referral hospital supported by the Portrees, Tudor, Likoni and the Kenya Navy level 4 public hospitals, along with 11 health centers and 26 public dispensaries spread across the county. These few facilities brought about the problem of overstretching their capacities due to overcrowding. In an effort to mitigate this issue, the program-based budget for 2021-2022 has primarily sought to upgrade existing facilities or construct new ones to meet with the demand being experienced within the county. We have embarked on the process of uh, strengthening the primary health care facilities and uh, so far we have refurbished three because the majority of them are defunct municipal facilities that are run down. So we have refurbished three and back on the fourth one. Hopefully we'll be able to give them at least some facility because also people look at the, you know, the face of a facility determines whether people go to the facilities or not. Coast General Teaching and Referral Hospital Outreach Centers in Vikwatani, Chaani, Ntongwe, Marimani and Shika Adabu areas are among the facilities Mombasa County has been able to construct in an effort to provide quality healthcare at the grassroots level and ease congestion experienced in other larger health facilities around the county. Um, currently there's a facility being constructed in Utangi. It's at level five and six. So we are hoping that uh, people who are staying in Kisauni Nyali, where there's no level four facility, will have an opportunity of using the, instead of now crossing to Makadara Hospital, all the complicated cases will go to the Utake Hospital and not cross over, which ends up in loss of life because of time wasted during the uh, Despite these tries in ensuring access to healthcare within the county, a major challenge has been financial allocation to the department and the utilization of these funds. With a budget estimate of over 3.6 billion Kenyan shillings, service delivery continues to be a lacking factor considering the fact that close to 70% of the county budget goes towards general administration, planning and support services, basically paying salaries and wages for almost 2,000 employees. For this coming financial year, our location is 3.7 billion. But if you look at our personnel emolument, it takes a big chunk of that amount, almost 70%. Our budget ideally has a deficit of 400 million. So uh, it takes us as the county or department to see how we can raise our funds uh, to seal that gap of 400 million. And that's why we have the revenues that uh, we collect at the department as well.
Deficits in the financial allocations mostly affect the public, leading to periodic lack of essential medication and commodities at health centers. Budget estimates for health products and commodities, for example, put the allocation deficit at close to 200 million shillings against the requirement of 521 million shillings. This diminishes service delivery and has been attributed to the increased cases of medicine stockouts at healthcare centers in the county. Apart from the financial aspect, there exists the issue of conflict of interest that has been attributed to the poor service delivery in public facilities. A report by Transparency International Kenya found that many Ministry of Health doctors and other senior clinical staff are consulting in other private health institutions around Mombasa, resulting to poor service delivery. Patient to healthcare worker ratio has also been attributed to poor customer service. The County Department of Health has tried to encourage their staff with regards to service delivery through initiatives which have them competing with private institutions, especially considering the NHIF rollouts to the private sector. Now, when we look at now the, the healthcare worker, human self or herself, with all these things in place, we have enough healthcare workers, we have enough supplies and commodities, there is now the customer care aspect. Rolling out NHIF for our facilities, we've now challenged our healthcare workers. They're now competing with private facilities. And one of them is ambience, and the second one is customer care. Those are key aspects. We have facilities that we are piloting. We've chosen and piloted. Moembe Tayari is one of them that we use as a model where um, you walk in and you find that customer care is there, mm -hmm. the ambience is there, mm -hmm. community supplies are there. Mm -hmm. So we are using this, we want to roll out to other facilities. The other thing we are doing is an uh, exit interview, the exit survey. We are doing not just one facility, but several, to look at the quality of services we are giving in these facilities and give a feedback to them to inform the kind of services they are giving. Recent studies indicate that public health care systems generally performed well at county level. However, addressing delays in the flow of funding is a concrete step towards improving health care system performance. Along with ensuring employee satisfaction and creation of a good working environment for health care workers, Mombasa County Public Health Department shall be the epitome of quality and professional health care service providers in the county. Alan Kai, Agilitics Media.